Hey folks, Quilly Team here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Stellaris. We are the clean ones of the Empire of Cleanliness, and we are going to start some warring shenanigans this episode. Um, we are going to be declaring war um, on our fairly weak neighbors over here and try to vassalize them, but it's for their own good. We have to teach them proper hygiene. Right now, they're just, they're just so dirty and filthy. You know, again, we're not xenophobes. We just think that every other race is disgusting and horrible, and we never want to be around them, and we got to keep them away from us. But we're not racist or anything. That would be crazy. Sweet. All right, upgrades going. Let me make a maybe a small little purchase here, just because we might be slightly short for all the upgrades. Because it'll stall and be kind of annoying. It's actually the bigger problem when you're uh, when one of your ship components uses a rare material. And you don't realize you're at zero and then just nothing ever happens over here. But you don't notice that nothing's happening because it doesn't actually give you an alert. Research concluded. You know, slightly annoying. Ooh, two techs. Advanced habitats, which we might start on soon. Research station output. Happy about that. Um, Gravitic sensors is kind of a free upgrade that's pretty good. The FTL inhibitors is very handy, but I don't know if we have to do that right now. And apparently we are slightly energy limited. You know what? Maybe I'll get the cold fusion reactors. Okay... Yes to this. So we can start doing some robot assembly, but at some point we do want to go to the uh, the sentient robot things. Uh, even saying you can upgrade again. Odd. Fleet enhancements. Say they're minor little upgrades, so that's okay. Same thing over here. Real fast. Fleet enhancements. Real done. Supply. Good, good, good. And yeah, for some reason I thought our limit was going to go 60 and we could merge these, but no, no. I was being off by 10. Okay. So we're going to demand your vassalization. Submit. You will say no. Let me just move a little closer here. Chuka, chuka, chuka. Exactly, they said no. Um, over here, we're going to start recruiting our armies. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have quite a lot of them. All right, declare war to vassalize. War declaration. Bro. We just know better than you. Or something. All right, we're gonna move in over here. Uh, apparently, you can still get some reinforcements. I guess we'll start on that. That's gonna be okay. Go ahead and build all these. Striking hostile station. Anything we can get out of the station? No. It's a little unfortunate. So if we zoom out and check here, oh shit, they go all the way down there. They're pretty big. I mean, they still can't reach me. Um, they can't reach me this way, and I'm assuming they don't have open access through the Devourers, so I'm assuming these guys can't reach me. I'm hoping it's not going to mess with, like, some war score stuff, but we can probably just wait until it ticks. Um, all right, let's send you there, but actually, this fleet here, I'm just going to get you to boop these two. We'll clean up that. Okay, transports are starting to get built. Construction ship over here. I guess I'll send you there. So these are just regular outposts. So they're going to just go ahead pretty quickly. I'm not going to rush forward too much because I don't want to run into their fleet with just half my ships. I'm just kind of going to wait until these guys come back. It's taking a little bit of damage, but I'm Please guessing sir. yeah, it's... Well, it's not nothing, but I don't think I want to retreat these ships. Naval capacity increase... Maybe more fleet command right now. The habitability plus 5% is going to be good for the relic worlds. Energy siphon's not bad. I don't usually build around it, though. So I don't think I'll prioritize it. Yeah, okay. Let's get more fleet command limit. We don't really have a ton of alloys. Um, before I get too involved in the war... Okay, you're going to need some extra work sites soon. Did we unlock... No, nothing cool over here. Yeah, this doesn't give jobs. We do, um, I mean, we might want to have specific, like, specialized bureaucratic offices, but... Maybe this is fine. They will contribute to higher stability. We can always replace it later. It's just minerals, which are pretty cheap. This is one month of minerals, basically. So we'll slap this down, make sure they've got some jobs coming. Um, over here... Okay, so your agricultural slots are all full now. 
Um, what do we get a penalty to here? Artisan outputs. Miners. Yeah, it, so this has to be a research world. And, okay, or the administrator world with the plus 40%. Now, we don't actually get a penalty to the generators. So we could build that, but, I mean, it's, there's not enough generator slots to really be specialized for it. Let's, okay, I'm going to build a city district because it's going to need some housing soon anyway. Uh, these are metallurgists. So, okay, these are artisan, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Artisan output is reduced, which is our consumer goods. Metallurgist output isn't reduced. Unless that counts as a strategic resource. I don't think so. I'm assuming strategic resources are these? Shit, I might have to look this up exactly what this means. I mean, it, to me, it would sort of make sense that metallurgists, in some fashion, are impacted. In any case, we're not going to be specializing a world on industrial stuff, but I mean, I'm like, do I make a forge industry? So these are actual artisans, but it doesn't say metallurgist, but it does say strategic resource gatherer. But I'm assuming strategic resources are these gems. Anyway, well, you know what? We're just going to start sciencing up this bitch, because that's, I think, what we're going to be doing with this planet. You've got the gene clinic already, which is a little bit of science. Oh, I should probably get you a hollow theater. Yeah, actually, let's plan on that next. I mean, it does produce unity, which is nice as well, and the amenities helps with lots of stuff. Alright, I'm going to be okay with that. Um, was that all of them? Yeah, everywhere that's lower on jobs has some stuff queued up. Okay. So you're just going to finish this, and then we'll meet up at the front. Construction project concluded. So, actually, both fleets can move up here. That's going to be fine. Cosmic nudge. Ooh, progress towards atmospheric filtering, which sounds like... That is interesting. It does sound a little compatible with us. I wonder, if we consider Gaian worlds to be completely clean, maybe we will go down, like, the Gaian construction route? I don't know. That's not really what I want to do. Um, idle science ships. I'm gonna get you to just move up here. We might end up with some debris to process. Construction project concluded. I want our transports to keep building up. We keep digging here. The devourers are claiming our systems. They don't have to claim. Don't they have the best CV already? So we got our robots. We could go to droids. That can make specialists. I don't remember if you can colonize with these. We can also start making robotic armies, actually, which is pretty tempting. Um, I like the rare tech, but Corvettes are kind of not our vibe right now. So I think we're going to ignore this currently. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go robots. Now, our actual current robots, can we make... Yeah, we can't make that, those armies, but soon we will. Yeah, okay, our CB here expired, but we've already declared war for it, so that's fine. Another habitat ready to go. Actually, yeah, um, well, hold on. Do I want to just keep blasting ships? I should probably focus on that. Although, I mean, oh, you have... No housing. Relic world. A very mindable relic world. We could also make you industrial. So relic worlds... Um, do relic worlds not actually have a boost? I mean, that's the habitability breakdown. world's not actually give you a boost to tech or anything? Maybe not. I'm wondering about making this a big industrial world. We want more alloys. We want more consumer goods. I think I kind of like that vibe. I queue up a couple of those. And then... I think I will put in a hollow theater, which is a little early, but it's going to be okay. So yeah, the industrial districts will give us housing and more jobs. We've got a bunch of empty job slots right now. Um, but yeah, these will give us some housing. I mean, not as much as an actual housing district or city district, but 
I think that's going to be okay for now. And no tech here yet. Yeah, I guess keep moving forward a little bit for now. If we see a fleet, we might suddenly hit the brakes. Ooh, excellent! I can finish Prosperity. Done. What does the Prosperity bonus do in the end? Resource and job, stability. Okay. Oops. Now, Ascension perk. May we might want to become the Crisis. Eventually, but not right now. We might do that, you know, to cleanse the galaxy. Um, no. No. Psychic, I mean, is fun. That's not really where I was looking to do. Not usually keen on grabbing that, or that, or that. Okay, the Ascendancy might be the thing. Yeah, Mastery of Nature is on actual planets. I actually quite like Transcendent Learning for the, the leader level cap. Shared Destiny is quite good if we do have all these subjects. Um, I don't know, maybe we just grab the Technological Ascendancy now, even though it's not really... It's not actually as big a deal as it sort of seems. Mostly because, like, it feels like you cap out the technology, and yeah, then you can, re you know, repeat the stuff to keep getting bonuses. I'm just wondering if there's something that's... I don't know, I guess this is fine. Okay. I still think it's probably not a great pick for, like, your first one. Okay, I want you to make more outposts and stuff, although you don't really have anything for that right now. I guess what we could do is we could just go and keep snagging some extra systems for now. It will still cost us some alloys, but it's not a big deal. Um, Fleet-wise, so we're well below our limit here. I mean, we'll go ahead and max these numbers, whether or not we do... Well, we can't We can't actually do a full reinforce anyway, because we don't have the alloys for it. Yeah, I guess we may as well keep pushing some ships forward here. It's going to be okay. Oh, neat. That is quite some range. Okay. That's actually going to be very appreciated. These guys might have no naval force because they just recently lose a war. Alright, five armies, so we're halfway done our little build queue over there. And yeah, our ground troops are not terribly potent, so... I do want to wait until the maximum amount. Okay, we're going to do this and this together, take out that starbase, and then we can probably separate our fleets. The opposition doesn't seem too strong. Um, over here, what's the ground army situation look like? Initialize About 100 garrison strength. Protocols. Oh, they have an actual fleet over here. Okay, it's not massive, but I'd rather not fight it where the starbase is. Any chance they're coming for me? It looks like that is exactly the case. So what we're going to do is we're going to park ourselves here. And just, I mean, we've all got, we've got super short range weapons. I mean, both sides do, but we want to jump on them the second they come into the system. Uh, oh no, they're not coming. They're parked at, well, that's actually kind of interesting because we'd actually engage them without fighting the starbase. And we do have like 4k strength. Yeah, okay, we'll be fine. We'll take some hits, but that's okay. Two more transports. Oh, we're still digging. And these guys have rivaled me. I'm gonna rival them back. Yeah, we're not gonna be friends, and that's okay. More influence! Yeah, we definitely have lots of influence. Consumer goods going down a little bit, although it's a very manageable number right now. Okay, those two are taken. Let's come over here and try to chase this fleet down. Oh. Let me do this, because, yeah, they're probably coming to Emin. Actually, let's just just explicitly jump to Emin. Well, this might have been a good e time concluded. to split the fleets. But, although it looks like everyone's going there. I was going to say split the fleets so we can catch them, but apparently they're just donating themselves to us, so that's okay. All right, we got our new energy, which is good. I don't need... Um, I don't think we need any of these right now. So I'm tempted to just do this so we can start collecting moats, or I can just finish the mining laser. I don't think it leads to anything. But this would be fast, and it would recycle these very quickly. 
And I gotta do it at some point, otherwise it's gonna keep annoying me forever and ever, but no. I'll do this. In fact, we've got some more mining drones to blow up, so it might end up auto-research in the end. So I've got these idle construction ships, which I think I might just kind of leave as idle for a little bit, in case we need some alloy production for our ships. All right, you'll go there, you'll go there. There we go, 10 transports. So not like the deadliest of deadlies, but it should be okay. Yeah, we'll grab this guy. There we go, that'll help. And then we should do fine. Uh, that's probably a retreating fleet Research that arrived over there, but they'll get booped soon. Fleet command limit goes up. Chemical Bliss Tech, very appropriate with the um, the one uh, dig site we have. Um, I don't think plus 20 edict fund is going to help. The base intel level might be really handy. And obviously we're going to want this at some point. We can have upkeep, star bases. We're not at our limit yet. This is handy, and actually we've got a good amount of pro progress towards it. Let me just do this, because it will help us on our relic world. Oh, this is a guy in world. We have a relic world somewhere, don't we? Yeah, right over here. So that'll bring us up to 80 habitability, and that does make a pretty significant difference. Wait, how are you back here again? Here, you chase that. Oh, we do have some debris. Um, all these idle science ships. Just move up some amount. Spaceports sustaining damage. That must be here. We're working on it. I think they immediately FTL jumped. I don't think we killed them there. Incursion initiative. I think they were just engaged with the outpost. I don't know. All right, ground invasion. Sure. Done, done, done. Oh, no, we'll send you this way. We could do some repairs and upgrades, but... Ah. All right. Code breaker boost. Right, we do have the spy over here. They actually have inferior fleet power. This is the one thing that I was a little concerned about with this. Then it, eventually I realized they couldn't reach me anyway. So it was like, no, no, we'll, we'll go ahead and get started. But that is good info. I could actually consider pulling my spies out of both these guys now. Uh, the only reason I had them is I wanted a little bit of info about their strength. Although, will we get, will we get more mapping automatically? Let that Planetary pick up for now. Incursion initiative hey, hey. Oh, and we didn't lose a single transport. Nice. So over here, we'll plan an invasion. Military industrial complex. I mean, that sounds kind of relevant, yeah. Okay, there's our habitability boost. We should probably grab this. There's at least one planet that's pretty full on building slots. We do have the technology to upgrade our habitats, but I'm not feeling the need to rush that immediately. <clears throat> Plus it would consume a bunch of alloys. Although it also sinks some influence, which might not be a terrible outing for us to do. I wanna start doing this. I guess I can wait. Yeah. Um we are going to have to do a fair bit more damage to get that to go. It's possible in the end we won't be able to vassalize them. Oh, final days, asteroid blast doors, okay. Bunch of minor artifacts. Speaking of, uh, so for this, no. I mean, who cares about one minor artifact? You know what? Maybe we will do that, because there's a cooldown. We might find ourselves wanting some more money. Research concluded. It's done, so we're going to come over here immediately. There we go. Robotic Assault Army Unlock, and we got our Droid Workers. Cruiser Tech. Yes. We want access to that now, for sure, for sure. Yeah, so science ship, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab you guys in bulk, so whoever gets there first, you're going to be fine. You're going to research here, then there, then there. I'm not really expecting to get much out of these researches, but what the heck, right? All right, everything's on the move. Pushing well here. No threats moving in from behind. This is so annoying. 
Well, at some point we're gonna have to challenge a fallen empire, but the thing is they're gonna have what, like multiple hundred K fleets? Yeah, that's gonna be a bit tough. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, you're done over here, but we'll move you here, then here. And then actually, yeah, we are gonna need some science ships to like pop the last little bits of border over here. Wait, do they have a they have a curator order station in the black hole? Wow, what a great place for a starbase. Because you can put the, the thing that combos with the curator station, the thing that combos with the black hole. It's going to be really nice when it's ours. Planetary incursion initiative. All right. Yeah, that's going to be fine here too. Good. Debris analyze. Oh, we are getting coil gun and afterburner progress. That's not bad. Oh, it's stabilization is done. I mean, at some point we want the FDL inhibitors. I just don't know if we need it yet. Although the encryption's... The energy? No, I'm going to go for the energy first. Planetary encryption. Make sure our money situation stays okay. We still haven't lost a transport. We'll land on Bodrilla. Shipwreck study. I'm going to pop in here because there was a science ship or something that went over here. I mean, I know it's not owned by them, but we're going to just take a quick little look to see... Oh, no, okay, the borders did expand. We can go and visit that. Good. Um, just to see if there's anything to blow up. Yeah, it's fine. Fascinating. So now you're going to come here and here. <gasps> We're maxed on minerals. Let's sell a bunch. Ooh, that's a pretty good price. Well, let's just do a small purchase. Um, but yeah, maybe we go and do another habitat right now. Because I don't think we're having to spend alloys on ships. Oh, actually what we can do is spend some alloys doing some settling. Good. Okay. And man, when we get the, uh, the robot tech going, we're gonna settle a lot of planets with robots. Invasion failed. Oh shit. And our general died. So they had actual troops over here. Well, that's less than ideal. Although, we can build droid armies now. Um, yeah, let's keep that going. Or can't we? <gasps> do I need the robot construction plant to do that? Um, robot friendly plant. Well, they can be our farmers. Oh, and actually, they'll, they'll tech up. They're, 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 actually, we already have the tech for them to be specialists do specialist job, so that's going to be okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Research concluded. Um, yeah, on the tech world... Actually, it's more of an industrial world over here, isn't it, that we're building. Yeah, let's go and get a robot assembly plant here as well. How's our food? Yeah, it's more than fine. Alright, let's grab this one. You're already heading out over here, and you're going to be able to take that just fine. So I think these guys, I will go and tell them, uh, yeah, go and go and do a round of upgrading, which is probably just the new reactor. Bond merchants, credible hints, Sieben nations plotting to deceive us. Okay, opinion drops, unity gained. Implicated in the plot. Hmm. Okay. Cool little spy event. Don't see very many of them, because I don't do the spying very extensively. Robot assembly plant coming online. Then yeah, robot army is going to be a go. Um, yeah, go ahead. Let's go ahead and hook these up. You're there. You're over here. Sure, done. You're over there. Yeah, let's go for it. Where are you? I guess you'll hook that up, and that'll be fine. Okay. They have a bunch of stuff hiding over here, and we'll have to blow up the starbase, but that should be okay. Winkworth. So, if we go into armies, recruit... Huh? Maybe I need a unit of robot population there first? That might make sense, because I think you can only recruit dudes that are present. Oh, maybe it hadn't processed completely yet. Nope, okay. That was a blank. 
61 months. Construction hmm. project concluded. Well, that's slightly annoying. We might still be able to get them to bend the knee without taking out all our planets, but... Dun dun dun. Uh, any more debris over here? No? Yeah, but we can check out a couple of new systems. Research concluded. That much is good. Energy credit. Wormhole trap. We do have a wormhole. Yeah, no, we got to jump on that the second it's available, please. I don't know if you need to get wormhole travel to be able to build dimensional gateway stuff. Phase commencing. Yeah, let's go ahead and take this one out. Then we'll have full control over all their territory, but not all their planets. I mean, I suppose I could build another conventional invasion force for their, like, non-capital planet. What are we going to get next? Um, adaptability was still pretty good. I still also really like Harmony. Uh, Mercantile can do some funky cool stuff. And then there's just things like Supremacy and stuff. I mean, we do get the bonus army damage immediately, which might be irrelevant. And I think we are going to do a lot of combat. You know what? I think we are going to drop into Supremacy. I think we need to, uh, to toughen up some things. Got some debris over here. Construction project concluded. Well, we can't go here yet. There you go. Now I can ask you to come here and research this project. Great. And I'll just tell you to repair. Actually, you will t be able to repair here as soon as that's up. So just enter orbit there and then it'll repair you at that point. Construction ship done here. Let's go ahead and build mining stations. And then do this. Okay. System survey concluded. And yeah, there's a bunch of surveying we can do past here as well. Yeah, you know what? I can probably just tell you to go over here and upgrade. I don't think we need any ships in this zone anymore. Because that is completely taken care of. Hmm. Initial colonization phase okay. complete. What's their deal on this plan with the armies? Oh yeah, they have 400 strength. I suppose I could just bombard the shit out of this. Maybe that's what I'll do with these guys. Maybe we'll just have to go for a bombard. Because it is going to take a while for the robots. How long does it take to recruit? 90 days. And it's going to be like 16 months. Yeah. Uh, that's four, five, one, two, three, four, five. We can take some of the other planets and then we'll um, we'll do some bombarding. Oh, construction templates. Yeah, okay. I like that. We are gonna get more rare techs because we are, um, we did take the technological ascendancy. Hollow theater, go. We're not gonna build a robot construction plant over here. Um, we're gonna assume we're gonna want some research districts. I'll just queue up one for this moment because that's all you need for a while. Yeah, you go in and bombard. What's your bombardment stance? Construction project Selective, completed. which is probably okay. Initial colonization phase commencing. Shipwreck studied. Mining Fast. stations, and then let's move over there. Design ship over here. Oh, there's more research projects to do. Well then, Construction please. Construction project concluded. System survey concluded. Dun, 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 dun. Project concluded. I guess we can claim, yeah, just keep claiming random stuff because we can. And we've got the resources. Although, you know what? I also have the resources for another habitat. And I do really want to build them in, in the radius around here. Although we were talking about like range two. And I would like to get, yeah, see, I think we might want to prioritize these places that can be research spots. Shipwreck studied. Fascinating. Okay, that's done on those. Let's take a look at the log. Yep, no no debris waiting for us. So we can tell you to auto-explore as well. We can just see what goes beyond here. Yeah, the shipwreck stuff. We did get some more coil gun progress, which is nice, I suppose. And a new archaeological dig site. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Right, you're upgraded. You know what? I'm gonna get you to join in the bombard fun over here. Research concluded. Clone armies. I mean, we don't really need those if we're gonna doing robot armies. 
Actually, we really don't. Um, unlocking food processing centers. Oh, I think that's the upgrade, right? Yeah, because then it needs the moats, which we're theoretically going to start working. The auto curating vault is pretty good for the administrator output. If we, we really do need to make a planet that maximizes that because we'll get tons of unity from it. You know what? The, like, none of these are critical, I feel, the same way. Let's just get this energy siphon out of the way and see what comes up next. Promotions. Dig sites. Mm-hmm. Bombard. Oh, primitives over here. Okay. Well, we definitely want to want to claim this. Well, except it's expensive until we integrate these guys. That would be we'd be paying maximum yeah, price because I don't think it looks at phase. I don't think it looks at border from our our vassals. I think it looks at borders from ourselves. So yeah, it's quite pricey. And same sort of thing. Hollow theater. Keep their amenities up, and then a research district, and get you to kind of specialize that way. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so the tech world, I think... I think specializing into industrial districts makes a lot of sense, as opposed to a research one, just because our... I think our research is going to be done pretty good in space. Again, unless there's something with a relic world. Hang on. Stellaris Relic World. Celestial body relic. Come on, Wiki. Oh, it has features. That's what it is. I'm like, I'm sure there was something with the relic world where I was like, it's really good for science. That's what it is. So it's not part of the base type, it's these things. So actually, we want this to be a tech world. Um, so that will mean putting down more city districts. Well, first of all, our housing's a little low right now, so we'll build a couple of those. But yeah, that's what it is. It is flagged as a tech world. I think, even though because, well, we have a little bit of tech from the gene clinic itself, I think this might be setting itself based on, it's, maybe it's raw output, which right now the planet output is this. So we're gonna keep the designation tech world, so we kind of remind ourselves what that is. We're gonna lock that in. Build the city districts. Um... Do we even really need the robot assembly plants here? I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. It's still fine. Still gonna want some robot pops. And then, yeah, we'll we'll shift things over a little bit over time. Okay. And your Gaian world, which is still fine this way. But you actually might end up being a tech world because we're not sure what we can actually process. I need some tech for that. Um, yeah, because artisans are bad here. We do want some more somewhere, but this is not the place. Okay. I guess I can put a cut in here, and then next episode what can happen is we'll finish the stack of transports here, we'll take another crack at uh, this planet, which is currently being bombarded. Devastation is low, they're not taking a ton of damage there, but that is going to start to accrue. And there are still some other planets to go and, um, and conquer, but... Yeah, if we actually want to vassalize, we do need to get the max occupation bonus. Because eventually it's going to max out to plus 100 for more exhaustion. All right, I forgot what the status quo. It is going to make a new subject with everything um, occupied. But I would like this to come with us as well. So we may as well try to do as much damage as possible. Anyway, we'll put a cut in here. Folks, thanks a lot for watching. I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.